it's finally September, which means it's the start of the mushroom season. It's the most summery day we've had in a while today. But we have had a week of rain, so I'm hopeful there'll still be a lot of mushrooms around today. I'm in the same location as a few weeks back. Hopefully there'll be more here this time. So let's go and see what there is. Now it hasn't taken long at all to find the first little mushroom of the day. Just behind me out of shot is the log I was sat on a minute ago filming the intro. And right down here on this little tree stump, it's a really nice gallerina mushroom. Got a nice orange tone that should come up nicely against the green of the moss. We're in quite boggy, muddy conditions here, but I should still be able to get to it and make something work. I think I'm gonna go for a landscape composition first. Just see how that turns out. Okay, I think I found a nice composition here. So let's get the first shot of the day. And now switch to portrait. Try and get a much more detailed shot. I want to try and get lower down so I can get some of the gills in the shot as well, make it look a bit nicer. Oh, this, is, this is looking perfect already. Now, while I was just taking that shot there, I've looked down where I was setting up the camera. There's an even tiny little white mushroom here. Don't think I'll get a photo of that. It's not really going to make for much of a nice shot, but it's a nice little find. Now, you might be thinking this location looks a little familiar. And that is because this is the exact same spot a couple of weeks ago where I found a really nice little mycena growing out of this mossy log. And it seems like now we've got quite a few more of that same species growing here. So I think I can see quite a few nice compositions to get here. See what turns out nice. And it might be a little bit of a challenge to get a nice photo because of the location. I'm sure I'll find something. I've got quite a nice composition here from quite a distance away from the mushroom. It's more of a wider angle shot but it looks quite nice still, just not as detailed as my usual. I might try another similar landscape shot of this other little one to the side, standing on its own. Move this little stick out of the way, it's kind of ruining the shot a bit. I've just switched over to the 60mm macro lens. It should allow me to get a bit of a wider shot so I can actually perch the camera where I want it, pick up some of that detail under the gills. It's a very fiddly location that I've got the camera set up in here, but it should come out as a nice shot. Now, I thought I'd come back to this spot that I had a look in in a previous video. And already it's proven a lot better than last time. I spotted this really neat mushroom growing on this little stick here. It's really quite a perfect specimen. So I think what I'll do is I'll place it somewhere on this fallen tree to get it elevated. So that way I can get the camera underneath looking up at the gills should make quite a nice photo. So I'm going to go for a 
portrait shot first really try and get some of that detail and then might try a landscape shot for something that's just a bit more of a wide angle i say the tones of the forest in the background is really making it look quite special I have noticed a little bit of a problem that the gills are a bit too dark for the rest of the shot so I'm going to try just a little trick just holding my phone torch underneath it like this just to provide a bit of light underneath This is one of the most unpleasant locations I've stopped at so far. It's very wet and boggy. It's very thick, deep mud everywhere, but there's this really good cluster here. There's quite a lot of them. I think it should make for quite a few nice compositions. I'm going to start off with the 90mm lens, but I have a feeling I might need to switch to the 60mm to get a wider shot. this stick so yeah, I think this is turning out nicer than I thought with the 90 mil so I might go for a couple of closer up portrait shots Let's be careful not to drench my camera in all this thick mud I'm still at the same boggy, damp location that I've been at for the last couple of photos. And I've just found a nice little cluster of what is probably my favourite species for this time of year. That's Delicatula integrula. It's a tiny, translucent little white mushroom. It tends to fruit a lot around here. And I've just found a really nice landscape composition. So I'll snap that photo quickly. Now what I thought I'd try, because I've brought this little UV torch with me in the hopes of finding anything that fluoresces under UV. So I thought I'd see how this looks, and while it doesn't fluoresce, it does get a nice blue tone from the light. So it'll make for a bit of a different photo. I just find somewhere to balance it carefully here. And we'll see how this turns out. Now I do want to try and get a photo from the other side as there's one that's sort of leaning this way which I might be able to get a nice photo underneath but it'll be difficult because it's a bit of an awkward terrain. I'm going to switch to portrait just to allow me to get a little bit lower with the camera. Now I don't think I can quite get as low as I wanted but I'll still try and get something while I've got it set up here. also just a meter away from those some nice little orange mushrooms here I don't know if they'll make a good composition because there's nowhere really to put the camera but I'll give it a try 
I think I've got something that might work here. It's not perfect. I once again can't get low enough to see the girls, but should still make for a nice shot. Also spotted right by the tripod where I was just filming. Got quite a few more of these. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any kind of nice composition of those, so I'll probably just leave them. There's also some more just over here. You can see them there. There's quite a lot of them around. None of them really in a good spot. Even got some down here. There's even one overhanging the water down there. No way I'll be able to get a camera there, but quite a nice little sight. I think that'll do for today's video. The heat's getting to me a bit. I think it's time to pack it in. I've got quite a lot of photos that I'm happy with, so it's been a good day. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'm getting a video out every week at the moment, and I'm hoping that'll continue at least throughout autumn and winter, hopefully forever. <laughs>